super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. It's already open. It's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner?
Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're right. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. The water's all sudsy now. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas. My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? I like the we the people part. That's not in the Declaration of... Say, that's not bad. Maybe we can use it. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. 
What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model, should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay, it would have one anyway. Look, don't call us, we'll call you. Dang. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? The valley. Ah, the beautiful Shenandoah Valley. If only you could be there right now, eh? Wouldn't that be nice for both of us? Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. I don't wanna. Oh no! I've lost it! Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. 
Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. I don't wanna. <coughs> Yo, I... Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. about humans. Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days.
Right, that's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir! That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. 